Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, I just got back from the local Toyota dealer picking up my car from a little warranty work. I had to have my front grill replaced under warranty because some of the clips broke like a lot of other people have experienced over their time. So I, I only had the top three clips um, break so far. Um, I think more would have broken in time, but I kind of caught it at that point, but they went ahead and replaced it under warranty. They would let, would not let me replace it. I wanted to just get the part if I could and swap it, but they would not let me do that, um, unfortunately. So I would like to do um, something to strengthen that, and I plan on doing that. Um, but today, real quick, we're supposed to be getting some rain later this weekend. So since it's uh, brand new, I want to go ahead and do um, some ceramic coating on it real quick. Since it's new, I had ceramic coated the old one. On mine, that was basically these kind of right, right in this area. I think there were three of them. I think there was one here like one here and one here. And um, I wanna go ahead and try to strengthen that. Um, they're just little plastic clips that, that clip it to the bumper. And um, so I'm gonna try to come up with something. I've got a few ideas and I'll do another video on that when I come up with something that I'm happy with. So if you've never applied ceramic coating before, um, I've used this brand for years and had extremely good luck with it. Um, so this is called R1 Coatings. And so this is their prep that comes with their kit. So I'll go ahead and clean it real quick with the prep. And um, here's a little applicator pad that they provide. Got some gloves, got a couple of rags up here. And um, we'll go ahead and just Wipe this down real quick, and then we'll apply the ceramic coating. You let it haze on there for a minute or two, and then you buff it out, and you're done. So it's not hard to do. And with the with the matte finish on the plastic grill, um, it's real easy. I mean, there's no prep work to do other than wiping it down with the surface prep, and that just gets rid of any oils or anything else from the manufacturing process. wiped down and prepped so that is cleaned off and with ceramic coating you simply apply some so it kind of gets wet and saturated like that this will usually do a two foot by two foot area of paint so it should be um, a fair amount to do a good majority of of this and then just kind of work work around the grill in sections Now remember, this needs about two minutes or so to dry, to set up before you can buff it. So it doesn't 
not going to be a huge section. that in mind. This will protect the plastic and it will make it easier to clean off bugs and stuff like that. So you kind of see it's, you can't tell as well now that it's kind of wet. So I'll set that there. It's going to be harder than paint to also tell that it's kind of um, you know, giving you that rainbow effect that you see on paint. So you just give it a, a minute or two, which this has already had. And it's warmer, so it, it won't take long. And then just give it a light wipe. That is to just to level the the ceramic coating. You're not doing anything else really to it other than just leveling it out. I'm not really putting any pressure on it. And then and then once you kind of wipe it like that, you can either use a clean towel or flip this to this is such a small area, I'm just gonna use one towel but rotate it back and forth and then and then you're gonna kind of go back over it and kind of buff it. And that is that. So that's this upper section right here. And then I will proceed to do this and uh, just, and then pick a, a way you want to do it. This can be pretty easy because you can do this section here uh, on both sides and then you could either do this solid section where it's got the reinforcement here, or um, you could go and just do, you know, it by several rows at a time, um, which I think is probably gonna be the easier way. So, so with these, I'm just gonna and just go in each one and And if you overlap some, that doesn't matter. You can do multiple layers of it. On the paints, I did two coats. So now that that's been setting up, I'll go ahead and use the side that we're just gonna lightly wipe. And that is it. Just a little light wipe. We're just leveling this around. anyway. easy to do. Just 
like that. Front grill is ceramic coated. Uh, yeah, all protected now. So, it's supposed to rain this Friday. It's supposed to rain tomorrow afternoon. Not planning on going anywhere though, so I um, want to wait at least 24 hours, they say. And uh, so it'll be good to go by Sunday. So that's it, guys. Here we go. The grill is all ceramic coated, all protected, ready to go. So now that they've replaced it under warranty, I can concentrate on trying to come up with a good idea to strengthen that bond between the bumper and the grill and give it a little more support. So I've got some ideas and when I finalize something, I will show you what I come up with. So until next time, guys, appreciate all your support. And, um, and I just want to give a, a shout out to everybody to, um, all the support and everything to uh, for approaching. I haven't looked today, but I know I'm getting close to 3,000 subscribers. We might have hit it by now. And um, for all of you that um, watch the channel and stuff, I sure would appreciate if you would hit that subscribe button. I would really like to make a, a push to 5,000 and try to get there a little quicker. And until next time, guys, we'll see you down the road.